Alright. So I've unlocked research labs. When we get to the screen, I'll tell you about those. My mercenary reward is going to be artillery, which is a really good one, although it's very you have to be very tactical with where how you use it. Okay. Longer daytime, normal amount of said. This should be relatively easy, noticing that I have snipers, infantry, and artillery. This is pretty good. I probably personally would rather have barriers depending on the layout of the level, but you never know what it's going to be, so artillery isn't bad. Alright, so let's talk about research labs first. Research labs will are available once you hit the certain point threshold. What they will do, like I said before, is they're going to create a little blue pixel in the level, depending on the difficulty of the level. Level 1 zones are going to have 1, level 2 zones are going to have 5, and it's going to continue growing until you get to the level 4s. I believe level 4s have 35. Um, even though in level 4 zones they're not actually present, you just get them if you win. Uh, once you get a civilian, they go into your research pool up here, and depending on how many scientists you've rescued, you can use them to unlock different things, like for instance, a larger capacity helicopter. Um, mercenaries get experience faster. Um, each artillery single barrage has more shells. Your units move faster, things like that. We'll talk about those more as I get more scientists. Now, notice I said I have a decent layout. I'm going to go ahead and try to tackle this level 2 zone. Uh, notice that it's going to be 2.5 times the amount of victory points for what I rescue. There's going to be a population of 250. There's five scientists. Normally, I would shy away from attacking higher level zones, but since I have a good layout here, or, you know, a good amount of units and what types of units, I think I can go ahead and at least rescue them. I'm probably not going to be able to kill all of the zombies, but that's okay. I should be able to rescue as many civilians as possible. Okay. So, first things first, let's talk about the new unit artillery. You click on artillery and you have to physically place it on the map. Anywhere in that red circle you see there is an area that it cannot shoot. So what that means is you don't want to put that near the zombies, right? You don't want to put it here, you don't want to put it here or here. You do want to put it, however, as far away from the battle as possible because if the building it's sitting on gets destroyed, it gets destroyed as well. So nothing's going to happen to it back here, especially this early in the game. And it's not really in the radius of any roads, so it can even shoot these roads if it needs to. We'll come back to that in a second here. Um, I got a lot of crap down here. Notice my, my uh, or scientists are all up here in this quadrant, so that means I should be able to rescue them all. I'm going to go ahead and put my evac helicopter, hopefully in range so they all hear it. And I'm going to place my soldiers here to worry about that. And I'm going to place my snipers here. Not there. How about here? And I'm going to place my snipers there so they can watch this whole alley near the helicopter and make sure no one gets there. Now, after they get done killing those, I'll probably have them respond to some of these lore threats here. Actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to do it another way. I'm going to do this. So it will be easier for me to respond to threats with these down here with those guys, since they're a little more effective than the snipers are at first. And so the snipers I'm going to place in the same spot, but instead I'm going to have them watch this quadrant now instead of the other one. Alright, so snipers are going to watch this, soldiers are going to watch this, and sort of, not really, watch this. So I'm going to want to use artillery down here to take care of one of these. Now, given that this is kind of a straight shot up here, I'm probably going to use my artillery here. Artillery has a slow reload time, so make sure you use it as early as possible. It's going to take it about five or six seconds to actually fire. So some of the Zeds are going to get away. That's okay. So I need to actually get my snipers guarding this. My soldiers need to move this way. Alright. So, soldiers are doing their job. Snipers are going to do their job. Alright. 
Alright, I need to make sure I move my soldiers up here to respond to this threat. I need to make sure I take care of these few guys over here as well. It's really important I just protect my evac zone. And I'm going to move my soldiers down a little bit. I'm going to have my snipers now protect this area. Alright, I got four of the scientists. Okay, I rescued all the scientists, which is fantastic. Oh, I don't know how I let that happen. That's why you got to pay attention to what's going on. And I'll also notice, I'm not even using my artillery. Uh, I'm going to restart the level because of that, because I'm being a noob. And that was a good example of what you shouldn't do with your artillery. Sometimes it happens, sometimes you get really excited and you pay attention to your soldiers more than your artillery. Alright, so everything about that worked great, um, with one exception, and the exception was my artillery. I'm going to place it a little higher up this time. Alright, artillery is about loaded. I'm going to have it block that choke point. Alright, so... See why artillery is really useful. It's like anything else, the more Zeds it kills, the more experience points it gets. Alright, so I've got to probably gonna rescue most of these here. Now, these civilians are being retarded. That's a bug in the game. They're probably looking for a zombie squad to uh, run and hit. Yeah, that's what it looks like they're doing. I'm gonna move my soldiers down actually a little bit. I try to kill that single guy down there. Now, if I was actually a little luckier, I'd probably be able to complete this level. I rescued most of them now, it's just a matter of protecting my LC. Watch out, your artillery can hit your units, so that's something to be aware of. Alright, so I got a little hectic. It's disappointing I wasn't able to kill all the zombies, but with the crappy kind of, semi-crappy loadout. By semi-crappy, I mean I didn't have barriers, because barriers are really useful when you're doing a level 2 or 3. I got a good 69 kills with uh, my snipers and 57 with my soldiers. I can't complain. Rescued 158 people, 2 times modifier, 395 points. Got all 5 scientists. What? Probably went as well as 